when you create a new track, something else happens. And I want to explain that to you because it affects the way you can edit that track and the way the regions are displayed on that track. This is something that's entirely new in this version of Logic. Now you remember when you create a track and select an instrument, that determines what is being displayed in the library. And it also determines what kind of region and the color of region on that track. And all of that magic happens because of a new setting in the track inspector called default region type. So anything that I record on this track or create with a pencil tool will be MIDI green unless you choose a different color for that track. So I could record a region or I can choose the pencil tool. And there it is, MIDI green. Now here's a very important point. When I double click on that to open up the editor, boom, it opens up the piano roll. If the default region type is a pattern, then the region created or recorded will also be a pattern region and retain the green color of the previously selected region. Now, if I select a drummer default region type, when I create that, well, we get a drummer region. Double clicking on the MIDI region will bring up the piano roll editor and selecting the other regions will bring up their appropriate editors. Next, I want to talk about default region colors. I'll create a new drummer track. And of course, it's going to you know, do the expected, bring up a drummer region. I'll switch the default region type to pattern. I'm going to deselect the drummer region. And this is where the difference lies. If I create a new region without the previous region being selected, it assumes the default color of that new region and pattern regions are purple. Now, if I deselect regions by, of course, clicking in the background and create a MIDI region, it's green. You can have different region types with different colors on the same track. And every time I click on them, it brings up the appropriate editor for that region. 